Welcome everybody to the look out for the little guys achievement guide. No, We're gonna get this one on the Xbox One uh, Master, Chief, Master Chief Collection. Make sure you're playing two portrayals on Legendary and grab the bandana skull and the grunt funeral skull. Grunt funeral I just used to indicate and make sure that I knew when uh, grunts died if I accidentally killed them. So take out the four sentinels that start there, jump through here, open this door and there'll be a whole bunch of grunts and elites that pop through. Um, just wait for the, sentinel, the sentinels rather, to uh, finish them off and then just go run and gun, run and gun, kill them all, use your overpowered shotgun, grenades if you want uh, once all the grunts are dead. Um, pop through here, now this is really important. Open this door, but then press the button again as soon as the panel stops moving. Then kill these two elites that are just around the corner here. Um, chuck a couple of grenades, and there'll be a couple of jackals to your left that you can take out with a grenade or two. Pretty simple stuff. So, just to go over what I just said with the uh, panel. When you open the door, there's a glitch that can despawn all the enemies, and that's exactly what I've done there. So what you do is you press, for me, I use the, uh, the control scheme bumper jumper. So I press B to activate, or it's usually, I think it's X to activate things. So you press X to activate the, the door, and then the lights will stream across the panel, and then you press, as soon as the lights stop moving, you press X again to activate it again. That'll despawn all the enemies, and run up here, grab the sniper rifle, and places your plasma pistol, and jump down here, making sure that you crouch at the bottom of the jump so that you don't injure yourself. Jump down this little pyramid thingy, make sure you slide down the barriers like this so that you don't hurt yourself on the way down. Grab the banshee at the bottom here, and everything's gone, which is freaking easy. But we have to spawn them back in to continue the mission, otherwise we can't continue. So you press the door again, and everything will pop back in. Make sure you take this route exactly, otherwise you'll fuck it up. Don't hit that door on the way out, that's just me being stupid. Fly down the edge of the, uh, the structure like this, that'll spawn in all the rest of the enemies, and make sure that this guy jumps in the wraith. Because if he doesn't, then he can't open the next door. So, fly up here, there'll be a couple of grunts that run out, as well as an elite, I believe. Jump out, and just kind of just vault over them, they're really no big deal. Just continue down the corridor like you normally would, use the shields to overload this reactor thingy, and then run back out underneath the sentinels that fly out, and grab the banshee, the new one, and fly down here. Jump over these guys like you did the other door, and this is a real bitch to get through. It took me like 20 minutes or so to get through, it's fucking annoying. So you wait until this, gr this grunt sorry, passes the door. Um, you'll see by the radar where he is. Run around here. You don't need to crawl underneath the windows or anything like that. I've seen other people do that. It's all pretty simple. Um, go around this box. Make sure you do that. And jump through this window using a crouch jump. Once you do that, it's much easier. Punch that guy in the face because fuck him. And then beat the fuck out of this jackal because he's annoying. He always gets in the way. Grenade over there. Kill this guy. Grenade up there. Wait for your shields to recharge. You're probably going to be dying. So... That takes a bit, bit of life out of you, but you can recharge your shields here. Don't walk any further or you'll spawn the next group of enemies. Grab out your sniper rifle that you grabbed before and take out the two elites that are just down the end of this road here. Bam, 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 bam. Then you're going to play hide and seek with these jackals up here as you try and find a spot with these fucking jackals. I hate them. Once you know that they're all dead, move on up with your shotgun and make sure to punch this guy in the head for being alive. And you're on the home stretch. That's about it. I mean, this next room is a bit of a bugger to get around because of all the grunts, but uh, make sure you hide to the right here and just wait for the flood to walk by and they'll fight the elites. The elites will win. Um, feel free to spam as many grenades as you want here because there's no grunts around. There's just a shitload of jackals, which are fucking annoying. Then take out your sniper and take out the elites down at the end there. And uh, I think there's a couple of jackals down there too. And that's about it. All up to here is all really fucking annoying and will take you a long time. The rest of this level is all just full of flood and only a few grunts that are peppered in there. Just be careful of where you drive when you get in the ghosts. And I think there's only one other grunt that you really run into other than the very end. But you can just run past all that crap anyway and jump in the banshee straight away. Um, other than that, that's all good. You get the achievement pop once you finish the level. Bam, 10 gamer score. Look out for the little guys. And I think that's about it. If you want to see any other achievements from the Master Chief Collection, I'm happy to do them. Uh, if you want to check out the rest of my videos, they're up on the screen right now. Have a clickety-clack around and see what you like. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.